Are you interested in putting sound effects into your Commodore 64 video game? Well, stick around and we're going to show you how to do it. That's the wrong button. Because, uh, it's supposed to be a good one, right? And if you miss one, it'll, it'll do a miss sound. It's perfect, just what I wanted. We'll just let this play for a minute. I'm trying to get a bad one on the white one. Right, otherwise, it's gonna time out and game over. It's the game over sound we made. <gasps> Deadline here with another Commodore 64 programming video. Today, we're gonna be talking about sound effects in video games. Now, when I was trying to make my wackadoodle program, I was having some issues. And so I turned to Shalon's Discord to try and get some help. Told was that um, by ArlaSoft. So thanks to ArlaSoft. I appreciate it. If you go and look on CSDB, there's a program called the Sound Effects Kit. Now, this is a D64 you can download and use, and I'm about to try and use it myself to incorporate some sounds into my game. This was actually a program that was released on Commodore Disk User and this is the PDF from archive.org. It's not a very good copy. The graphics are kind of choppy, but you can read if you scroll down to page 35. Let me find it here. The sound effects kit. This is essentially the user manual for this program and uh, one thing I wanted to point out about this was that you can uh, you can load it it has a player that you can include with your program right and so all you got to do is embed the, the player into your own software and then do like some pokes and it'll play right save the effects player here's what I'm talking about it runs via the IRQ routine so it will run as a background task and it can be called from both basic and machine code programs you will have to enter a start address for your player which can be given in decimal or hexadecimal preceded with a dollar sign the address must be in memory from range 1024 to 6399 and this is not a problem it says basic users are advised to use 49152 if you're going to use this program. So we can create our own sound effects using this software and then embed this uh, sound effects player. See, you need to poke the FX number to tell the player which effect you want to play. And so you got poke 679, 680, and 681 for voice 1, 2, and 3. So I thought this would be an excellent way, since I know nothing about sound, to actually get in there and uh, have some sounds in my game. So this is me trying to get this sound effects kit working with my game. So we're off to the races. Let's go ahead and see what it can do. I've already been messing around with it for a little bit. And uh, you can adjust envelope, frequency, and pulse. Um, you can have quite a lot of effects, as you can see on the effects number. Let's go back down to one. And so what I've been doing is I wanted to have uh, several different sound effects like if you miss the button that you want to press that you should be pressing to have like a a low kind of loser kind of sound right but then I also need like a get ready sound and uh, a sound for if you hit the right thing and then a sound if you time out and then a sound for game over that sort of thing but what's cool about this whole thing is since I don't know anything about sound I can learn about it and uh, there's a random button here so if I press it 
it creates random sounds. And so I can keep pressing random until I find a sound. Let's just say, we let, let's do a get ready sound. Search for a get ready sound. That's not a get ready sound. That's kind of a cool sound, but it's too long. That'd be a cool sound, uh, but it's too long. That may be a good get ready sound. I like that sound. So let's name this sound. Get. Let's get ready. That's my get ready sound now. So let's go up to, let's move this up to sound one. So this is the original code that I had put in that does not work. I have some problems with it. So we can go by this. So I've got the get ready sound, right? We want a, sound, a ding sound, right? So let's, um, let's try and figure out a good way. This will be our, our ding sound, right? So let's try it. Too long, not a ding. Too long, not a ding. Too long, not a ding. I'm just gonna keep trying this until I find a good ding sound. That kind of sounded okay for a ding, but not really. That sounds like a swamp monster or something. Ooh, now that's a cool sound. That's kind of like more of a get ready sound though. Okay, okay. All right, let's try it again. Hmm. I don't really like it. Ooh. Okay, this is kind of like a good ding sound. I'm going to try to do something here and try if we can't turn down the sustain on it and the release. Maybe the decay. Let's turn it. Okay. That's a good ding sound. I'm, I'm digging that. Let's turn it up. Okay, okay, ding. That's good enough. Good enough for government work. Or city's in work, I should say. Let's name this to ding. Not dung, but Ding. Cool. Alright, so we got two effects. Alright, let's take another look at what we need. So we need some more sound effects. So we got the ding sound, we got the get ready sound. We need a wrong. So this is going to be like a kind of sound, right? So let's see. We are on FX number three. Mm, not really what I'm looking for. Ooh. It's too long. Huh. Nah. I wonder 
if I could do something with that and maybe turn down the pitch of it or something. No, that isn't working. It's too high. Too high. Ooh, now we're talking. Okay, what if I do with pulse? Mm. Now what does this stuff down here do, I wonder? RF low. Let me turn that up higher, see what happens. Okay, getting there. Let's turn this special A. No, let's put it in three. I don't know what this P rate is. Mm -mm. Wonder if we change it from a sawtooth. something else nothing mm, I'm not really digging it I mean I'm getting close right I'll see what this does Turn this down some more. Uh -uh. Mm, that sounded kind of cool. I really need it to be alarming and wrong. There we go. Turn this down some more. P rate. Let's turn this back to something else over here. Well, here we go. Let's see. What if we turn that down? No. Hmm. Turn this down. Still, this doesn't sound like a wrong sound to me. I'm gonna keep trying with the random and see what I can get. 
Nope. It's noise. Although... Sounds like a good buzz, kind of wrong sound. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of alarming in a way. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that, just just so that we have something. I can come back and change it later if I'd like. Wrong sound. Okay. So that's sound effects three. Let's go sound effects four. This one we want, this is if you hit the right thing. So it's gonna be like a, a rewarding kind of noise. That's, that's cool, too long though. See what else there is. Uh, that's more like a ding sound. I'm gonna go ahead and save this one and call it uh, ding two. And then uh, let's go move this up to FX four number five. Let's keep trying. This is our pow sound if we get it right. Okay, I'm digging this. Let's take and move the uh, sustain down. And the decay down. Mm. And put the release all the way down. Ain't happening. Let me okay, okay. Boom, you got it right. Good job. Okay. Alright, let's try that. We'll, we'll go with that one for now. We'll name this P P O W POW. You hit it. Alright, move up sound effects. We need a miss sound. This is if you miss it. If, it, if the time runs out. Oops. We'll go ahead and name it. But, let's try. That sounds rewarding. Oh, here we go. Let's try moving the, the release down and sustain down on this. Let 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not digging it. Like, it's cool and everything, but... I need short sounds. Okay. Too long. Ooh, perfect. All right, I'm going to save that one. All right, and I think that's going to cover it. Nope. Um, yep, game over sound. We need a game over sound. This is going to be a game over sound, I guess. Sounds kind of like a whistle. I think I'm gonna save it, save that as game over. Okay, so we've got all our sounds. Now what do we do? Uh, main menu. Let's go to save data file. Edit and play data or library data. Hmm. Enter file name SFX Wackadoodle. Ready to save editor. Press return to save. Saving. Hopefully this saves to the disk, okay. Okay. And now let's we'll save the FX player. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it at um, C000. SFX Wackadoodle well, Player. And that is the information right there that we need to call it IRQ control. I guess I could hook that into my IRQ timers routine. We'll find out. We're going to run this in and see what happens. It turns out that you only need to save the sound effects player file and it includes all of your sound effects. Okay, disk directory. There we go. Sound effects, Wackadoodle. Sound effects, Wackadoodle player. Sound effects, Wackadoodle library. So, next step is to take these files and add them to the Wackadoodle program. And that's what we're going to be doing next. So I was using the Ultimate 64 in order to create those sound effects with the sound effects util with the sound effects kit. So here's the FTP into my USB 2 of my Ultimate 64 and I've got the disc here. And so what I'm going to do is copy it into the Wackadoodle development folder. Right? So I can go ahead and close out the FTP move this over and now what I can do is I can open up this program it's called Dire Master and it's a PC utility that lets you look into D64 files and so there's all my my different programs so what we can do here is just drag it out back into this folder and I got now I've got sfxwd.prg I've got SFX WDP, which is the player, right? And that should be at 49152. And this is the sound effects wackadoodle library. And uh, in order to use these programs, I am going to. We can go ahead and close out Dire Master now. So I did manage to get this working. Um, main thing here is to put a comma 2 after you import the binary. And it's because it actually loads in the first two bytes, which are the load address on a Commodore 64 program. 
so that being said the main thing is in my sound routines we don't need to use the IRQ interrupts because I was able to just add in here this is where I have my IRQ timers and I just add it here and I have a variable called play music and if it's playing music then we want to jump subroutine to play the music right otherwise we're going to jump subroutine to sound effects kit um, I took out using the SFK clear function and I just added in to play the different sounds dings get ready sound wrong sound pow sound miss and sound game over and just store them in those locations and then return from subroutine and it works well and here I want to demonstrate it I'm going to build the program and you can see what happens so it's playing a SID file and so when we start the program it does the get ready sound right and then it does the ding sounds every time it chooses a new place if you hit the wrong button it does a miss sound perfect right? that's the wrong button because uh, it's supposed to be a good one right and if you miss one it'll, it'll do a miss sound it's perfect just what I wanted we'll just let this play for a minute I'm trying to get a bad one on the white one right otherwise It's going to time out and game over. It's the game over sound we made. We'll start it over. We'll try to get a bad one on the white one so I can hit it. This is advice, right? I mean, as you can see, it's working perfectly alongside all the other music stuff that I had going. Miss. Yep. It'll pass over this one because that's a good one. There, pow. See, it does the pow sound. And so if that was too complicated for you. I've made a simple program which will be on the GitHub. And it takes that uh, same uh, sound effects kit player program. And uh, it loads it in and then does a basic upstart. Uh, jump subroutine C000000 that's to turn the sound on that's pretty much setting an interrupt for itself and then I did a main loop you press keys 1 through 7 1 through 6 and it'll play all the sound effects that I just created and that'll be on the github so I hope that helps and I'll just do a quick demonstration of that program Nothing fancy. Press one. That's a ding sound. Four, five, six. Those are the uh, sound effects that I just made. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new programming series. And be sure to check out all the other vintage computer related videos on our channel. Right here on City Zen.